hi guys it's promise Sebastian here again okay this tutorial it's um for those puzzle lab designers wondering whether photoshop is a go for them and then for the photoshop designers seeing some creative designers from puzzle lab designers and wondering how on earth is this design coming out from an app on a smartphone so probably they must they might not have seen what the puzzle lab looks like okay so i'm gonna be diving deep in each of the two apps to share some key tools so after this tutorial you're gonna vet whether it's fair or okay to compare the two apps as i'm gonna be diving in on the two apps and sharing some key tools Okay, so this is Photoshop now and uh, this is a project I worked on so I'm just gonna click on one of the projects to open it so I can explain what I want to do so I'm just gonna tap on this now so it's loading it um so this is a project now I have here it's a puzzle lab so you, this design was done on puzzle lab that is why I had to let it so you can see the um, projects we are done on puzzle lab there all on layers so i'm just gonna use the back tool and get everything as it is so this is as it is now so if you're on photoshop this is what you're gonna see on first side so these are projects i've opened so if you want to open the project you can use the create new use the create new and this is what you see all these things are dimensions i must have used before and then you have the saved one you have photo you have print and whatever other dimensions here that are preceded here on photoshop by photoshop on default so you can change your project name you can change the dimension for your project and you can change from pixels to um, uh, inch so you can change the orientation change color mode and background color and all these things here on photoshop before you start up your project while on puzzle lab i'm going to use the default background so this is what you see now so if you want to change um dimension and some other stuff you can use the image resize here and then you have some custom um presets here that puzzle lab set for you you have youtube thumbnail youtube channel they are not quite much but you can't re uh, give your project name here on puzzle lab i think that is an advantage from this one now and then you can change dimensions also on puzzle lab okay so and this is a, a custom square dimension if you want to create a custom square dimension design now you can just um let's let's name it to review okay it's now review so i'll click on the create and then i have review now so i'm gonna open the other file i'm going to file now go to recent i'm gonna open that up very secret so i used to explain what i wanted to explain so let me just use this youtube banner insightful so this is a youtube banner design i did on photoshop okay so this is it kind of rude out now so this is it and this is the, the other one i created now so i'm gonna be removing this extra this grid i have here i don't need it so i'll just set to view and then um uncheck the extras now so this is a project i have now so then i'm on puzzle lab here i'm gonna be opening up the project i just closed i'll head over to projects and then to this project and tap on it and click ok and i have it here on puzzle lab so over to the tools here i have a lot of tools here on photoshop the tools here on photoshop are more than uh, they are just too much okay so i'm just gonna be touching some of the key ones okay so you have the shape tool here which is this one the shortcut is you you can use it to create a lot of shapes here so I, i'm on the shape tool now let me head over to this other stuff now and i forgot to prestate to you that you can work on different backgrounds on photoshop i assume when i open another project it's gonna come up here now and i can still tap on it and walk over on it and i can still have multiple adverts multiple adverts that i can work on as this is that but one i assume when i created like five or then adverts they are gonna be here and i will be working on them simultaneously so i'm gonna uncheck the extras on this also so i don't have much stuff here so you have the ship this is circle i selected now so i, I will just with the left mouse key um hold and then draw and have a shape so if you want the shape to be uh the dimensions to be the same so it doesn't change width and height of the circle you can hold shift and then 
draw so it gives you a good circle so it fuses automatically so you can go to fill here you can go to stroke all these things are tool and settings okay so um i will recommend on mesh if you really want to learn photoshop you're new to photoshop on mesh is imperfect okay you can check him out you, you're gonna get a lot of tutorials on how to go about photoshop okay so that is it for the shape i'm gonna delete this now and this there are other tools here you have your erase tool this is used to erase um, you have erase to you have background erase for background then magic erase is more like background erase to that erases one color okay so that is it for it so you have fill to this is used to paint pocket to now let's say i want to fill this place with a color now i can just fill it with a color you see you just fill this place i want to fill this with a color i can just fill it if i rasterize this now and then i can fill it with a color okay so then you have um sharpen to you can sharpen then you have dodge too and then there are awesome tools here also there's a tool called camera raw filter which is used to um addict your image like a pro it can give you a lot you have the blog cushion blog is related sharpen text okay guys there's a lot you can do on visual lab it's just on com on photoshop there's a lot you can do on photoshop it's just um I think it's unfair comparing it with Pixel Lab, but then Pixel Lab has quite interesting tools also. So I have Pixel Lab here now, and then I'm gonna tap on a shape. I think this is a shape now. So we'll head over to the shape interface here now, which has the shape tool now. So here you have copy where you can copy, and then you have to the front, you can bring stuff to the front. You have position, you can position left or right. And then you have to the back you can take it to the back you have relative position you use it to automatically adjust those and then you have relative size you can use it to resize whatever it is you want to resize and then you have color you can on uh, change the color of your shape and you have texture you can add some texture to the image you have then you have opacity you can increase and reduce the opacity and then you have color filters you can change and walk around the color filter for that you can add stroke increase the stroke of a shape on pixel lab here you can also erase some part of whatever it is you want to erase you see we'll just erase that now so you can also max something in and max out so you can erase column and then you can rotate and you can also 3d rotate you can also turn it to a 3d i can also change the perspective also on pixel lab then you can add drop shadow which you have there already you can have in you can add inner shadow you can add inboss so let me bring this to the front now which they bring to the front too so guys there's a lot you can do on pixel lab also but comparing it with photoshop is just unfair because photoshop is kind of crazy there is just a lot of so if you're new to photoshop you can try checking on mesh there's a lot of tutorials you're gonna learn there on photoshop so you can go learn from the okay so guys that is just it for this okay thanks for watching um, see you next Wednesday. Don't forget, keep creating.